Hey folks, this is Bardic Dragoon. Welcome back to Let's Play Tobey's Vertical Adventure. So we last left off, Nana had made her way through the Phoenix Cave and acquired the last map that she needs in order to find the treasure of King Garuza, which led her to the Grand Pyramid. So, getting in close to the end of this video here, or this video series here, this will actually be the last part. Probably, maybe, I don't know. Like, there's some things that I... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, she's just good at this kind of stuff. Like, why even have Tobey around if she's that much better just getting around to these places? Oh! Alright. Ow! Stupid mummy thing. Alright, I already got balloons. I know I bothered to grab the items. I have I used actually I've used a couple of or a couple of uh, ropes, haven't I? I guess I can't say I've gone through this without using any items, but item usage has been very minimal, so, you know, there is that. Ow. Oh, so much for getting that extra, fe <laughs> getting that health refill. That, that was, that was amazing right there. Just absolutely amazing. Not that the uh, running or jumping does anything here. I just, uh, I don't know, force of habit. I haven't been doing that during this whole run with Nana, so I can't even really fall to that as an excuse, can I? Oh well. <laughs> oh, this is off to a promising start. Ow. Oh, hi, spike ball thing. Just passing through. No need to worry about me. Just passing through, stealing your treasure. I, I love that infinite wall jump right there, by the way. Like, it just gives you so many weird ways to approach things. Of course, upside down bouncy pyramids return. Because, well, they are the same levels as always, so, you know, everything that was in the previous levels when we played through it just totally is gonna be here too. Not quite sure why I'm making a big deal about these things returning. There's they're going to return. They're gonna show up exactly where they were before, so. Just casually stroll through the ancient pyramid and steal the treasure. You know, no need to rush. 
never know when you might need a roll. That isn't already pre-installed in this place. Just me or she seemed to completely fill up her supply of an item whenever she grabs it. Yeah, it might just be, maybe just my imagination. So I don't need to worry about that. And now, the game gets serious with bottomless pits. I mean, I suppose you could technically argue that the lava pits were bottomless pits. Oh, and actually, we had a few of the bottomless pits as well in the uh, ice cavern, so... Really not anything new here, actually, thinking about it. Yeah, still interesting. Always, always a fan of bottomless pits. They, they just add that extra bit of tension that every game could, you know, could use. Haha! <laughs> I actually was so thinking I might not make that jump, so... Glad to see that that did work out. There we go. Yeah, actually, I think they can hurt you if you come at them from the uh, bottom, so I'll, I'll just let you keep coming, Mr. Bouncy Pyramid thing. There's some bizarre little strategy I'm missing here. Cause this this exiting just feels too run of the mill. It feels like there's some kind of weird little neat trick I could do with Nana that I'm totally missing here. Oh, there's that I guess. That's that's something right there. But that, that I feel like there should be something more impressive than that. Hmm. Well, these levels are going nice and quick, aren't they? And then again, when you're not watching the whole cave collapse thing. Come on, Spikies. There we are, Spikies. And a rope should we need it. <laughs> ah, face planting. Always, oh, always a fun time. Stuck on those spikes. Play them shut and open. And since she doesn't run fast, we'll just leave it here. You, I think you can actually make it through this entire section here, at least using Tobe, just by running, but. Well, yeah, not I don't run, so, you know, can't do that, really. At least not with her. Actually, no, I don't need that rope. I'll just jump down here.
Yeah, I'm still not a fan of the spikes. Like, they make for an interesting challenge in the way that they kind of force you to be more aware of your surroundings. But what they do as far as the platforming gameplay just slows everything down and leaves it ultimately less interesting, at least if you ask me. Alright. But, thankfully, they're introduced in this level, and actually, did they show up in the fourth level of the pyramid as well? I, I don't remember, actually. Hmm. I don't know. I hope we'll see in a moment here. Because now that we're escaping the third phase of the pain of the pyramid, the fourth phase is just around the corner. There we go. Haha! <laughs> Alright, so one last challenge for Nana. And the ultimate challenge it shall be... The last stage of the Grand Pyramid. Of course, considering that Nana's kind of made quick work of... Challenges for Tobey here, I suppose we're probably... Not going to see too much different here. As she just casually scroll, casually strolls to the place. Double junky double jumping as needed. Oh yeah, that was not smart. <laughs> yeah, go me. Um, am I standing on top of the switch? That was weird. Now, right, I forgot. Nana, just like Tobey, has a fat head. I mean, they both make the look or make the uh, you know the style look work work for them, but they have fat heads. Okay, there is no way around it. They have fat heads, and actually, they both have kind of wide hips, but it's more noticeable on Nana because you know, she's she's female. You know, her hips are wide already. I, you know what, I'm not even sure what I'm saying at this point. Let, let's get at this. Ow! Okay, let's try that again. With preferably less failure, if possible. I really need to stop with the face plants, but I can't help it. Just that sound effect and the actually not really much of an animation. It's mostly just a single sprite, but they just work entirely too well. They are hilarious to view. I might also just be the sadistic and horrible human being, but hey, you know what? You gotta keep yourself entertained, however or however you can, right? Here. Oh, oh wait. Haha! You almost had me! Not that I would have lost much progress there. I mean, the checkpoint was. Right there! See? Yeah! 
Oh, get out the spikes, get out the spikes. <laughs> okay, yeah, not my brightest moment here, but eh. And run! Run, Nana, as if your life depends on it, which it kind of does. So you might want to think about moving a little quicker next time, okay, lady? You're just throwing that out there. And in we go. Okay, now to try something kind of stupid here, just because, why not? Haha! -ha! That does work! Woo! Got two bunny rabbits to rescue. Oh! Damn, those spikes are getting a little dangerously close here. Uh. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. And I can come over here. Uh. Is one of those pyramid things running backwards from the rest of them, or is it just my imagination? And that means all money and all animals. And also the ending cutscene. But once again, you're grabbing onto that rope, you just can't seem to keep hold of your treasure. Also, the rope is breaking. Uh, this might not end well for Nana. Oh, that was a sad ending. No. Or not. I just love how Tobe just constantly had this, like, disinterested, yeah, whatever, kind of expression on his face. No, oh, except there, but, you know, can you blame him? And, so with that... Well, let's just, uh... Show off the last little detail of what's in this game. I think it'll trigger here in a moment. I think I just missed the message here. But yeah, if you get all the treasures and all the birds on both Tobe and Nana's, uh, or all the treasure and all the animals on both Tobe and Nana's storyline, you actually get a uh, code you can enter at the website, secretbase.com.sg, in order to basically download a free art book and I think the soundtrack. Uh, all treasure is one, all birds are the other, I forget which is which, to be completely honest. Yeah. Oh yeah, collect all the, uh, money to unlock the artwork, all the animals to unlock the soundtrack. And, yeah, I'm probably going to figure out a way to blow those out so that way. If you guys want that stuff, you gotta play this on your own. Cause it's a good game. You guys will enjoy it. And, of course, can't finish out a Let's Play without first, uh, giving thanks to the people who made this by sharing the credits. All one screen of them. Yeah, seriously, nine, what, nine people? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, no, eight people. I was off by one. Eight people made this game. And well, technically, six people made this game. Two other people worked on the original uh, Xbox Live Indie version. So, eight people in total. And they gotta admit, they did good work. But, with that said, this brings us to an end here uh, with Tobey's Vertical Adventure. So, tune in next time for something different.
Until then, though, as always, later, folks. <laughs> <laughs>